of burgers on the barbecue. So here to bring us out of our grill gloom is Chef Paul Lillikin. Hi. Hey, Chef. Okay, you're in your backyard. Hey. Uh, looks lovely out there. What are you grilling yeah. for us today? All right, so Tracy, you know I love grilling. We get so few months to do this. So I'm switching it up today, and I'm going to do a grilled chicken puttanesca. Oh, that sounds good. Okay, and the audience is loving it as well. How do we start? Okay, so we start with uh, marinade here. It's very simple. We have just some honey, some olive oil, some salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic. And you notice it gets pretty thick. That's just because the honey is emulsifying with that olive oil, with the garlic. That's totally normal. And now I also have my chicken breasts here. And chicken breasts are one of those things that typically overcook. People overcook them all the time. So I'm going to show you today how to keep from doing that. I've pounded these. I've pounded them just lightly to about a half inch thickness so that the thick side is the same thickness as the tapered side. That's really, really important. If you've ever seen somebody stick a chicken breast just like willy nilly on the grill, you, you, you know it's going to be overcooked on one half. Yeah, the thing about that as well is when you when you pound it and make it a bit thinner, I find it easier to make sure that it's cooked all the way through. Because I worry about that on the barbecue. Absolutely. Totally. Plus, the pounding, like you're not pounding it like you're making schnitzel. You're pounding it just so that it tenderizes a little bit. So it just makes for an easier time grilling and it makes for a better finished product. And that's kind of what I'm always preaching. Little tips to make your finished product better and make you a better cook in the backyard or in the kitchen. That's what we love. Okay, so that marinade that yeah. you're putting on it now, you said that there's some honey in there. And I think sometimes we hesitate to put something yes. like honey on the grill because is that going to burn, right? It's sweet, it's sticky. Is that a concern? So no, that's, that's a great question, and that's actually what we're going for. Not for it to burn, but for it to caramelize. When you're grilling something, what is that one thing that everybody always wants? Grill marks. And just putting a little bit of something sweet in there helps with caramelization. It helps you get those beautiful grill marks. So just make sure that these are really well coated, and then into the fridge for about an hour. You could do them overnight. You know, They'll just sit there nicely waiting for the hot grill. Lovely. Okay, what do we got? What are we gonna do next? We're gonna throw them on the grill now, or we've got a few more steps. Not yet. Not yet. First things first. We're going to make our puttanesca sauce. Okay. So this is a tomato sauce with some rich, salty Mediterranean ingredients in there. So you've got some anchovy, you've got some capers, you've got some olives, and it's all gonna start in the pan with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And the thing with this is that. These are really finely minced. So I'm adding my capers right there, my anchovies, some Kalamata olives. And these are chopped so thin, almost to a paste. Some garlic, a little bit of minced garlic goes right in. And the smell is incredible already. And a little bit of sugar and red chili. And here's the thing. I'm using Muti finely chopped tomatoes. These, you know my husband's Italian, so these are the best tomatoes from Italy. They use the best Italian tomatoes. He won't stand for any less. And you see, the, even the color is beautiful. It's bright red, and it's got this sweetness. This, this sauce ends up being salty versus sweet, and you just want to simmer it just until it deepens in color a little bit. You're not cooking this down till it's super thick, but just simmer it, just simmer it, and then a little bit of chopped basil goes right in. As you can see, basil's already growing like crazy in my backyard and it grows all summer long. So that goes in for a little bit of freshness. Nice, you gotta love those fresh ingredients. And like when you were putting all like the, oh, yeah. the anchovies and the, the garlic and all of that into the sauce, I was thinking, ooh, that's gonna be pretty salty, but you're saying it, it veers sweet because of the tomatoes and the little bit of sugar you put in there. Well, it balances. So it's mm -hmm. sweet versus salty. And I know that these are some intense ingredients. People might think, oh, olives or anchovies or capers. Like, well, my family like that. But the thing with mincing them, you mince them almost into a paste, maybe a little bit of black pepper. They just sort of melt away into the sauce. And it makes for a really rich, complex, finished tomato sauce. So I think, think about Caesar salad dressing having anchovies in it. You don't taste anchovies, like, really, really boldly but they add a layer of flavor and kids love Caesar salad for a reason yeah I'm a recent anchovy convert I actually really like it now that saltiness I uh, it's good I, I don't love think it's that a, it's that over in moderation 
Yeah, in moderation. Okay, what's yeah. next, Chef? Okay, so now onto the grill while our sauce is simmering with our chicken. And these are just gonna go straight on. I've greased my grill a little bit. And what you're gonna end up with are these beautiful grill marks from that marinade. And these will take about, I'd say, oh, I don't know, maybe 12 or 16 minutes, depending on the heat of your grill. I'm gonna get rid of these. And then while those are cooking, also a little bit of bread. So I love just grilled bread with anything saucy, a little bit of olive oil right on that. And that goes with this dish to sop up any extra sauce. You can see how beautiful this sauce is already simmering. The color's brightened up, it's starting to thicken. These can grill right alongside our chicken. This is what I love about Just you, like Paul. Just like that. You never do a recipe without bread. <laughs> it's like you come into the studio, right? you're doing a beautiful lobster recipe, there's a loaf of bread. You're over there, you're doing a chicken, there's bread. Like you know that that's the way to my heart. Uh, I love it. I, I might have mentioned my husband, Italian, loves <laughs> bread. So let's show you what the finished product will be like here so you can take your chicken breast off when it's done and just rest it in that sauce mm. and check that out it's beautiful and i'm just gonna rip a little bit of basil right here right from my wall garden just torn right over top like that and Try this, try this with your family. You may think it's the sauce will be too intense, but I, I promise you, your family will love it and it's got that really rich, complex flavor. Great for starting off grilling season. Okay, well we wanna try it now though. How do we? <laughs> I know. We just throw Find the recipe. Okay. Find the recipe, make All it right. tonight. Make it at home. <laughs> Chef, you can do it. Thank you so much. That is fantastic. Share some with Jeff. Jeff, that's shooting you right now. Give him a little bit of that. And if you want oh, the recipe will, at will, home, as the camera goes, <laughs> <laughs> the recipe's at citylight.tv. Everyone, let's go to break. Stay with us. We